Hey, it is Ryan Seacrest. There's something so thrilling about playing Chumba Casino. Maybe it's the simple reminder that with a little luck, anything is possible. ChumbaCasino.com has hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new game releases each week. Play for free anytime, anywhere for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of True Crime Time for Tuesday, November the 5th. 5th. It's election day, y'all. Yay. Yay. If you don't do anything else, look, we always make it about not politics on this show. And unfortunately, some of the fallen outs we had was when Ago was making things about politics. And he knows that. I'm not saying anything he doesn't know. We don't do politics, right? It, but we do America. Yeah, I know. I know what, what I'm saying is, when well, not doing politics is people get or so, you know, believe so passionately what they believe in. And I get that. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to tell you what I believe in. And, and I would never press it, my issues upon y'all. This mm-hmm. is not that kind of show. But what I will impress upon y'all is to please, please, please go vote today. All right. There's nothing more American than going to vote. And then, you know, I've been guilty of it in past elections and in way in years past of saying, well, you know, my votes are not going to count. Uh, it's you know, the whole country's voting, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's bullshit. Right. It does count. And what counts more importantly is if you don't vote, don't bitch. Yeah. About the, I don't know what the hell is going to happen with this race. And, and I don't think anybody knows. And we're going to find out tonight. Um, please, please go rock the boats with the MTV say back in the yes, day. Yes, indeed. Dating myself. I was voting for Ross Perot back in those days. Yeah. We don't tell them what you're voting for. And I was I, young. I, all right. <laughs> So the other main big issue, y'all, and just bear with me for a second. I know it's not your problem, but we are having a huge issue with Apple Podcasts. Everybody that has subscribed, and there's a lot of you over the years, every time we push out a new episode, you automatically get the alert from Apple Podcasts, which is like 70% of our listeners. We have all the different platforms. We're on every platform in the world from the biggest to the smallest. And Apple Podcasts is by far the biggest. And there's something going on where our listeners are not getting the episodes, and meaning that they're in Apple, but you're not getting the automatic downloads and you're not getting the automatic notifications that they're there. So until we get this problem fixed, if you want to hear all this wonderful new real life, real crime, like the true crime time daily and more importantly, hashtag justice for Haley or the justice for Haley is the same to Apple podcast. And of course, the, the original real life, real crime and everything else that we do, please for now go go to anywhere i mean uh, uh, you can go to apple even but you have to you have to open up real life real crime and to see the episodes so you're not going to get notified and which sucks because we're doing the biggest case ever with besides Courtney coco and mary Pucho, but, but but it's the biggest in barbara blunt but this is the biggest yet because we haven't solved it and it's it's solve, solvable we solved it but we ha- don't have the results that we want right. uh and we're going to get them i promise you we're going to get them by the end of the series and go listen to it oh my god it's um, just a unbelievable mess. yeah it's a it mess is. yeah and and so please 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 <laughs> Tell your friends that listen to Real Life Real Crime that have been subscribed. All you people, y- y'all are jam, my lifers, and but you're not getting it, and it breaks my heart. And people are posting, "Oh, I'm, I, I didn't get you know notified that I, I got an episode today." Well, it's in there. You just have to, unfortunately, unless you subscribe to another 
platform like Spotify or iHeartRadio or, or whatever, you're not going to get the notification. Right. And then a lot of question is when you, when some people go into Apple, they see because we're releasing subscriber audio yes. so soon, they're right. assuming that right. it's only it, for it subscribers. It's not only for scr- subscribers or patrons and our convicts in the app. It is not. And, and somebody left a bad review about that saying, Oh, I don't think it's fair. This, the show is only for subscribers now. People can't afford subscribing. We get that. We understand money. Hey, well, we're people too. We got to pay our bills and stuff, but it's not. That is for people who choose to subscribe and they get plenty of benefits. And, and that's great, right? The commercial free or the releases, bonus episodes, all the videos and everything else put up, but that's not it. All these episodes are for everyone. So that's, that's a fallacy also. Yeah. The other thing is, if, and I know it's a pain in the ass, but if you download the Real Life Real Crime Community app from the App Store, then the, all the episodes are in there also. So that's that's the podcaster shit, y'all. And But, man, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And let's get down to some true crime time for Election Day Tuesday. Cindy, ladies first, as always. All right. So can you imagine, I want you to picture living for months with your daughter's murderer and not knowing it? Well, I can tell you what, Courtney Coco's family lived in the Courtney's murderer was the uh, her sister's fiance. Right. And, and then he was a pallbearer at her funeral and everything else. And we saw that case. And so, yeah, I already know about that. Exactly. You know, I know about the pain of having to tell the family, get them all together and say David Anthony Burns was the murderer. Yeah. And he sat at their Thanksgiving table and carried her to her grave and everything else. Absolutely. Exactly. So this woman, um, lost her 17 year old daughter who was found drowned in a shallow body of water. Her hair was auburn and it was very long and it was chopped off at the like shoulder length. And she was covered up with a hundred pound log over her body to weight her down. Irene Avila, which is the teen's mother, took comfort in the company of her daughter's best friend. And they just shared grief together. And so the friend, Karen Severson, moved into Irene's home, vowing to find the killer. Mm-hmm. Sound familiar? It's called keeping yourself close to know what's going on. Right. Um, and this happened in 1985 right. in uh, California's Angeles National Forest. So time goes on and um, the two, you know, bonded and they stayed together and they lived together and they confided in each other and they talked about how this beautiful popular girl that everyone called Missy Missy was found and you know how much they missed her and Doyle which was the best friend later claimed that she had dropped Missy off with three boys driving a blue Camaro the night that she was killed. And so for three years, the only leads they had were false ones and the case went cold. Mm -hmm. Then another friend, Evela Cherumbala, came forward and said that what everything that they had known about was wrong, you know? And so she basically told the investigators her side of what had happened. And she said that they were headed to the National Forest and Doyle, the girl that moved in with the mom had recently broke up with her boyfriend and she blamed Missy for it. And so they had with Missy to blame for this breakup. She took Missy out into the forest and pulled her by her hair, basically hit her, killed her and left her there. And so, uh, again, like she only weighed like 97 pounds and, you know, the log was heavier than her. And so luckily the other little girl came forward finally and spoke the truth and investigators were able to put it all together and they solved her murder. But wow. this poor mom has to live with knowing. She as played. Yeah. And, and evil exists. And it's just crazy that, that people are like that. And, but they're there. How do and, you do that? This, 
takes all kinds living of with the deception like that it's almost like and they get high they get, oh they get off on it yeah, yeah. and uh, um so many famous cases where people in serial killers etc inject themselves into investigations and all that but this takes it to a whole new level mm-hmm. but mm, if i murder somebody and i and it was close to me or whatever and i knew i got away with it i would i would try to stay as close to him as i can and y'all listen to the justice for haley series because mm-hmm. wait until i tell you what happened after her murder and how this yeah. person stayed in the family and we have audio and video of it of the things that he did oh uh, and it's, it's like you throw up in your mouth right and in i don't know i don't get it so uber eats yeah we, we, know we love it. some uber eats well only you know with, when i'm traveling right you know, I used to have the Uber app, and then they came out with Uber Eats and whatever. And but believe it or not, when I travel or I used to travel all the time for work, I mean, it's easier to order food in the room than it is to go to a restaurant, right? And then it's kind of like food porn. You get to sit there and scroll through as you're hungry as fuck. It's like going to the grocery store hungry. Mm-hmm. And, and then you scroll through like, oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. And you are the I, worst I, I, to do that with. I, I, We're I, passing the phone I, back and forth and like, yes. oh, you got that? Well, I'm getting this. Oh, you got right, this. <laughs> right. and, and, and having to deliver to your door. You know, I remember a time when nothing was delivered. Yeah. Oh, that I mean, Domino's Pizza. You re- and, I remember and, when that started delivery. Domino's pizza in 1988. <laughs> This and how crazy this was for you people that don't know. They had under 30 minute guarantee. Yes, delivery. indeed. You got your fucking pizza mm-hmm. free. And I know people, and it wasn't me. Uh, I'm not a thief, but I have friends that would get it in like 27 minutes and they call a store and say, Oh, it was over 30 minutes. Right. And they had way to track it back then. There was right. no internet and all that shit. And they get another free pizza, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but Uber Eats, I mean, you know, certainly. It's a very convenient thing. Yes, it's you know a little more expensive and all that, but you know you just think that it was, it's all legit. Other than they always fuck up your order. Well, yeah. I mean, your food's almost never right. Yeah, and, and but they it's not really the Uber driver's fault, right? Well, let me tell you about a story about an Uber driver and that is facing burglary, assault, and grand theft charges. Okay, according to their arrest affidavit. So an Uber Eats driver got cuffed and stuffed in Polk County, Florida, after authorities say she ate. She. 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 Okay. She. (laughs) S-H-E. Ate food from an order. And then, this is really going to fuck you up. Then stole holiday decorations from a customer yard. No. Oh, y'all should have seen Cindy's eyes pop open. Let me tell you about that. Because <laughs> right, I got to interject. The holiday decorations. Okie dokie. My wife decorates for everything. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> and I'm talking about like you fucking know what time of the year it is. A month and a half advance because you got shit everywhere. <laughs> shit hanging in the door. You open the door wreaths and stuff. They're thrown bang. in the yard, by the way. Yeah, and, and just, you know, whatever. So my wife is the one who decorates everything to the umpteenth degree, except for she's a failure at Halloween. Yeah, I am a failure at Halloween. <laughs> and, but you fuck with her decorations, you got issues. But this lady did this, okay? Then, you, you know what happened? The, no. the customer came, comes out and sees her mm-hmm. and is like, what are you doing? And the Uber driver does. She spit in the lady's face. Holy mess. Yeah, yeah you can't make this shit up. It's Polk County. Okay. Now, <laughs> the Polk County Sheriff's Office arrest report Says the driver, Alexandra Del Valle Acosta Aguilar, Ugh. was spotted by the customer removing food from the bag that she ordered while she was outside the customer's home and, and when making the delivery. So the customer told police then she went outside her Davenport, Florida home and noticed that Aguilar was holding her happy fall, y'all, yard sign. Oh, my gosh. Right? And the cops say the customer also noticed other holiday decorations, including 
a column of pumpkins had been moved and were now sitting near Aguilar's vehicle. Oh, my. She was about to load that shit. Yeah. Now, when the customer approaches her, Aguilar rustles the sign. She's like, let go of my sign. And Aguilar is like, fuck you. And, <laughs> and, and this is wrestling her for her sign. And then Aguilar. Hey, ladies. Are you feeling overwhelmed by hormonal changes? Well, you're definitely not alone. There are more than 1,000 hormone disruptors living in our environment right now. It's sending your food, your water, the air you breathe, the clothes you wear, your skincare products. They all mess with your hormones. Then there's the natural hormone changes your body goes through. Premenopause, menopause. And while it's a natural process, it doesn't mean you have to suffer through it. The good news is you don't have to suffer through it anymore because now you have hormone harmony a formula made only with herbal ingredients that are shown to reduce hormonal symptoms in women of all ages. Hormone harmony is not just a hormone support and supplement. It's become a phenomenon. Women can't stop talking about it on social media. A bottle of hormone harmony is sold every 24 seconds. And the biggest benefit? Well, my wife says it makes her feel like her own self again. And that's what women mention over and over in the reviews. And there are over 30,000 reviews for Hormone Harmony. And for a limited time, you can get 15% off your entire first order at happymammoth.com. Just use code RLRC at checkout. That's happymammoth.com and use code RLRC for 15% off today. That's H A P P Y M A M M O T H dot com and use code R L R C. Hey, y'all. Changing my wardrobe from summer to fall, it's never easy. Luckily, Quince offers timeless and high quality items I adore. Ensure my wardrobe stays fresh and I don't blow my budget. And there's nothing easier than going to Quince and choosing these high quality items like cashmere sweaters from $50, pants for every occasion washable silk tops, and so much more. The best part? All Quince items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. By partnering directly with top factories, Quince cuts out the cost of the middleman and passes the savings on to us. And Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices and premium fabrics and finishes, and I love that. I got the stainless steel Link Apple Watch band, for fifty nine ninety, dollars it's heavy duty, it's awesome, and it's like $100 less than I could find anywhere else. And I also got a 100% organic Cotton Fisherman quarter zip-up sweater. The color is alabaster. Man, I can't wait to wear that this fall. And Cindy got the Mongolian cashmere boat neck sweater in Heather Gray. And I'm telling you, these are classic pieces at a fraction of the price. Make switching seasons a breeze with Quince's high quality closet essentials. Go to quince.com slash RLRC for free shipping on your order and 365 day returns. That's Q U I N C E dot com slash RLRC to get free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash RLRC. You'll thank me later. Spits in the woman's face during that argument. Yeah. And Aguilar then shoved the stolen items into the car and drove off. What the? <laughs> Holy mess. So the victim claims the four stolen decorative pumpkins were worth about $75 each. And I believe that because I know how much fucking decorations there were. Uh, um, and it, the s- cops say that Aguilar stole about $330 worth of decorations in total from the victim's home. Now, Aguilar is facing charges of burglary with assault and grand theft from a home. And they say she admitted she delivered an order to the address when the incident occurred. Police said Aguilar was arrested based upon the statement provided by the victim and the statement made by the suspect and records from Uber Eats. This behavior is shocking and unacceptable. A spokesman for Uber told, uh, actually, this was from People Magazine. And we, we removed the courier's access to the av- Uber platform and are supporting law enforcement with their investigation. 
That's crazy. It seems like it's personal, though. Uh, like, come on. I mean, that's she's eating her food and taking I her wonder, decorations. Yeah, you, know, you, you get you you give them. They have a tip thing on there, but you give them a tip before they deliver their shit. Yeah, I always give them a tip because you can go back and change. Yeah, it. I give them a tip ahead of time. I don't want anybody spitting in my shit. Well, no, much less in my face. Why are you still in my wife's pumpkins? <laughs> right? That is fuck. That just sounds up. personal. Uh, you sorry. spit in her face. She spit in her face. That's because they were fighting over pumpkins. I just, I wonder how many times she's done that. That's not the uh, first no, time no, she's no, done no, it. No, no, no. She, she's supplementing her income because she doesn't feel Uber Eats pays her enough, right? And, but that, let that be a lesson to you people. Um, you know what? We, but I'm nine, nine out of 10 of the people are great that deliver and stuff. Yeah. And actually, we had two, from two different, actually through the same service delivering here within minutes to each other because yeah. they came from different stores and both of them were lifers. Yeah. Wasn't that cool? And yeah. want to take a picture with me and shit. Yeah. But the, so there you go, Uber Eats. And I know y'all all staying in tomorrow night watching the election and get your Uber Eats. Make sure you take care of your Uber Eats delivery people. Yes. Right? We actually had a delivery person that came one time. She was shaking. I didn't know what she was shaking for. And she realized whose house she was. And that's why she where oh, she was at. And that's, that's so remember, she sent us each individual messages yeah. about how much we helped her because you had gone through it was right after you got sick and yeah. you were home healing and stuff. Yeah. And she had a son that was um sick. And oh, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Thank you, sweetie. We, we love you. And we love all you lifers. Yeah. So, Woody. Yes. Can you tell me what it is? Yes, Cindy. <laughs> Woodrow. Uh, Woodrow. Only a few people call me Woodrow, y'all. And it's Cindy and then my mom and dad, but usually when I'm in trouble and one of my, a couple of my other friends, maybe. Okay. So, do you know what a DILF is? Is this on the sexual? Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't even be there. Do you know what a MILF is? I know what a MILF okay, is. Okay, what's a MILF? A, um, Mom, I'd like okay, to Okay, so what would a DILF be? Dad, I'd like to have. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so imagine you're an ex-police officer. Uh, uh, I don't have to imagine that. I know, but okay, so imagine that, as you are, but you're imagine, you're found guilty of child sex imagery Ooh. And you decide to go to court with a DILF t-shirt on. Okay. <laughs> if you're an ex-cop and you're going to court to be sentenced for anything, much less child fucking porn, and you first, if you go to court in a t-shirt, you're fucked. Uh, the judge is going to get your ass just for that. But if you go to court in a shirt for a dad, I'd like to fuck and you're under child porn. Yeah. So you're being sentenced for child yeah. porn. All right, tell me about it. So a former Akron, Ohio police officer pleaded guilty to multiple charges related to a child sex abuse case. Jeffrey Parker, 34, of Mineral Ridge, is facing up to 65 years of prison after pleading guilty in Trumbull County Common Pleas Court to three counts of pandering sexually oriented material involving a minor. Three counts of illegal use of a minor in nudity-oriented material. One count of gross sexual imposition. So he's and, like, you got a shit ton of bad shit. And one count of pandering obscenity involving a minor. And so when Parker appeared in court, he wore a shirt reading DILF. Now, his DILF to him was devoted, involved, loving father is what he claims that that's what it's oh supposed to be. So, um, yeah, he, it, it, I don't know. Yeah. He was devoted to something child born. Yeah. So he was, um, made to declare himself as a tier two sexual offender which means that following his prison, I guess you know what a tier. Yeah, I know, okay, because it's different in every state. So, which means that following his prison release, he will have to register with a local sheriff's office twice per year for the next twenty five years. That sounds like he's getting off easy. Yeah, and he was arrested on August sixteenth. Booked. Uh, how many et years did he get? Twenty five years. Yeah. That's that's not enough. No. 
So, Dilf. I mean, he, could he be that fucking stupid? I know. And he actually think that's, or the Appro- salesperson said, no, this is dad involved, loving father. Devoted. devoted mm-hmm. Well, he can be devoted to tossing salads and washing somebody else's underwear in prison while they butt fuck him. And he should be because he's a child porn. Wherever that is, y'all would give him some inmate justice. And there still be justice in the world, right? Speaking of the world, worldwide crime. Here we are going to bring you for the first time, I believe, right? We didn't do one on Monday show. Mm -mm. Worldwide crime, y'all. And listen, this is truly a crime. Really, really, yes. Yeah, but I was reading one today about some, um, thieves that broke into an art gallery and they stole like two Andy Warhols and, and, but they damaged pictures that oh. paintings that were worth more than that. So yeah. they didn't really know dick what they were doing. Right. I mean, they got two Andy Warhols. Where the fuck are you going to sell this at? Right. 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 So when you think about major theft rings or, or professional crimes, you think about shit like that, jewelry, mm. heist and uh, paintings and stuff like that. Right. Oh, you know, we're going across the pond for the little worldwide crime. So the cops are hunting for 22 tons of cheddar. Cheddar. Cheddar worth almost $400,000. Now, look, you got 22 tons of something. That takes some planning. It's like the Tuskegee Airmen statue you talked about. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was only like 600 pounds right. or something. This is 22 tons worth of fucking cheese. So a guy named Jamie Oliver told his Instagram followers to look out for large quantities of premium cheddar on the black market. He said, if the deal seems too good, like G-O-U-D-A, the cheese joke, bad joke. I get it. He said, but it's deal seems too good to be true. It probably is. Now, the high end British cheese company, Neil's Yard Dairy, revealed that nearly 400,000 in handcrafted cheddar was stolen in a sophisticated con that's being called the Great. Cheese robbery, G R A T. So they said, We have some. Oh, I wish I could do a British accent. We have some difficult news to share. <laughs> the, the beleaguered company wrote in the Instagram post five days ago The purveyor of British and Irish cheeses was the victim of a theft, resulting in the loss of over 22 tons of cloth bound cheddar. Right, because when they age it, you, mm-hmm. you know about that. We yeah. have some steaks and shit. And look, I'm going to show you the picture. That is crazy. Right? So a fraudulent buyer posing as a legitimate wholesaler, a wholesale distributor for a major French retailer, pilfered the cheese, according to the Post. Over 950 wheels of Hyphod, Westcomb, and Pitchfork Cheddar were delivered before the fraud was discovered. Now, celebrity chef Jamie Oliver posted to Instagram denouncing the theft and urging his 10.5 million followers to be on the lookout for lower loads of push cheese. He says it's worth uh, approximately $390,000. Now, according to Oliver's post, the big cheese con thieves posed as a wholesale supplier to a French supermarket and duped Neil's Yard Dairy London warehouse staff. He said the precious cargo of valuable artisanal cheddar was sent out in good faith, only to disappear without a trace. Now, Neil's Yard Dairy said it received the order for the cheese in July. This is according to the New York Times. And the company reached out to three dairy farms to fulfill the order because it was so massive. And in September, Neil's Yard Dairy upheld its end of the deal by sending the cheese to the supplier who was supposed to pay for it by October the 7th. Now, David Lockwood, one of the company's partners, 
said, said mm-hmm. all this, right? Mm-hmm. Now, when the payment due date came and went with no word from the supplier, Neil's Yard Dairy tried to contact the supplier who became uncontactable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the company notified the London Police Department on October 21st, and they are investigating. Now, Neil's Yard Dairy made sure to pay the dairy farmers and cheese producers for the stolen cheese, even though Oliver says it will take years for them to make up the loss. I'm I'm pretty sure nobody ever thought about having insurance on cheese theft before, but they said, despite the significant financial blow, we have honored our commitment to our small scale suppliers and paid all three artesian cheesemakers in full, right? Well, the amount stolen equals the entire annual production of hi-fi cheese, potentially creating a significant gap in the artisanal cheese market. And the company is working with law enforcement authorities to identify these cheese thieves. And they said, in the meantime, we would like to put out a call to everyone within our esteemed community of cheesemongers around the world. Hence, worldwide crime. If anyone is offered or receives cheeses, they believe may have been associated with this theft, particularly cloth-bound cheddars in a 10-kilogram or 24-kilogram format with the tags attached, please contact info at uk so we can support the police in their investigation. How in the yeah. fuck do you think they're going to find the cheese? You showed yeah. up my house and had a Willis cheese I bought off the corner. It, not that I would do that. We <laughs> bought off the corner and then be like, we think that's a stolen cheese. I'd be like, prove it, motherfucker. I right? mean, it's cheese. Well, don't you think they've taken it out of the cloth and repackaged it? Or don't, I mean, they've I, thought this through I, well I, enough to know the, how they're going to handle it. I don't know. But, I mean, the, but the New York Times said uh, it'd be a great action comedy and maybe we can sell the rights and get some of the money back. I mean, like a Pink Panther movie? Like, I, don't know. I think they're trying to make light of the cheese. Don't cut the cheese. Yeah. It's a great story. Hey, it's very I, punny. Speaking of which, yesterday I had some fire-ass cheese. I had, you know, y'all don't hear me talk about Wisconsin all the time, and that's what they're known for, their cheese and their beer. And Shane and Trace, when they came down a couple weeks ago, bought us another shitload of cheese. Let me tell you something. A ghost pepper cheese made in Wisconsin. Mm. Shit is hot. <laughs> <laughs> but that sharp cheddar cheese made in Wisconsin. That shit is good. You ate a whole block of it yesterday. I'm supposed to tell everybody what I be eating. <laughs> yeah. I'm even blocked up forever, probably. Uh, I ate it between sandwiches and crackers and whatever. I was in a cheesy mood. You were. And then... Therefore, we're going to conclude the section of World Worldwide Crime. Crime. All right, so I want to do a segment myself. Yeah. Let me guess if this is the right one. Beast mode. Beast mode. That's right. Beast mode. And this is a very, very sad story. And it just doesn't really make, I mean, I guess it never makes sense. But a 10-year-old girl has died after being bitten by the family dog. God, we do this these stories every week. I know. And it was, they had like a loving, close relationship, like they grew up together, so to speak. And the dog still attacked the little girl, and they don't know why. Right. Spark something uncommon this holiday with just the right gift from Uncommon Goods. The busy holiday season is here, and Uncommon Goods makes it less stressful with incredible hand-picked gifts for everyone on your list, all in one spot. Gifts to spark joy, wonder, delight, and that's exactly what I want it feeling. Hey, y'all, I ordered a super cool piece. It's a candle with a sculpture of an LSU Tiger Stadium on top of it. And each officially licensed laser-cut wooden replica features up to four layers of detail, creating a bird's-eye view of a specific football field, seating section, and more. And every label includes your stadium's name, the team's logo, and school location. And it has a coconut soy vegan wax infused with sandalwood smell that creates tailgates and touchdowns scent profile, reminiscent of game day. 
It's invigorating like fresh cut grass and nostalgic like smoke from a pregame grill and calming like the crisp autumn air of a new semester on campus. Y'all, I love it. I have it at the base of my TV and I'm ready to watch the Tigers play on Saturday night, right? Uncommon Goods. Look, when you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. And many of their handcrafted products are made in small batches. So shop now before they sell out this holiday season. Uncommon Goods looks for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the U.S. They have the most meaningful, out-of-the-ordinary gifts anywhere. They even have gifts you can personalize. From holiday hosts and hostess gifts to the coolest finds for kids to hits for everyone from the book lovers to diehard sports fans, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone, not the same old selection you can just find anywhere. And with every purchase you make at Uncommon Goods, they give $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. They've donated more than $3 million to date. So to get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash R-L-R-C. That's uncommongoods.com slash R-L-R-C for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. It is Ryan Seacrest here. There was a recent social media trend which consisted of flying on a plane with no music, no movies, no entertainment. But a better trend would be going to ChumbaCasino.com. It's like having a mini social casino in your pocket. Chumba Casino has over 100 online casino-style games, all absolutely free. It's the most fun you can have online and on a plane. So grab your free welcome bonus now at ChumbaCasino.com. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. So um, this could have been, I guess, a worldwide crime was happened in the UK. Wait, hold on. <laughs> One second. Worldwide crime. All right. Just in case to get y'all confused. We'll gonna, it's a gonna, double segment. Our first ever twofer. double segment. Two for <laughs> So um, basically, the North Yorkshire police in England have said that the girl was at home in the town of Malton around 4.15 on Friday, November 1st, and an ambulance responded to reports of a dog attack. And according to the police, one of the girl's family members secured the dog inside a car after the attack. And the officer seized the animal when they arrived. The dog was later placed in a secure kennel. But despite the efforts of medical professionals and a member of the public who came to the family's um, aid, the girl still tragically died at the scene, suffering serious injuries. Imagine returning home and finding one of her kids being mauled to death by one of her dogs. And look, we got dogs. Yeah. And, and you, you don't never know what's going to cause something like this, you know. And uh, the people that were there obviously are destroyed, but they really have no idea why the animal uh, turned on her and attacked her. Yeah. And I've worked cases like this. And I told you all about it in, in the past and just fucking crazy. Yeah. So the the breed of the dog has not been released and... They're just asking the public not to speculate on, you know, the cause or the breed and just basically to respect the family's wish for privacy and let them grieve in peace. And that's essentially it. But apparently there's about 23 dog attacks annually in the UK. Uh, I think they have a lot uh, bigger restrictions on their dogs Mm -hmm. than we did here. Yeah. I mean, like where we're recording, there's actually not even a, a... there's only one law on the books about dogs and it's allowing your dog to roam freely, mm-hmm. you know? And then I've recently, I just read this, uh, the sheriff's office had a lady that was out of the yard and she tripped and fell and the neighborhood dogs jumped on her and attacked her. Oh my God. And this is not the first time this happened with these dogs. And the owner has been, had been cited before, mm-hmm. uh, because they, their dogs attacked somebody else. Mm-hmm. And, but the only thing you cited for what is allowing your dogs to run freely. So they paid their fine and went on. Now this lady, like, 
the neighbors called 911. It was an old elderly lady mm-hmm. that called 911. She said they are eating her. Oh my. They are eating her. And, and, the, and Sheriff R is pissed off about it, right? Yeah. So he said this, you know, enough is enough and you have a right to defend yourself and your family and your home. Right? Yeah. So, and I get that too. The, um, it's just crazy. Well, there you go. And I'm just going to put that one under beast mode. Beast mode. All right, y'all. Whoo. Let's talk about something in the army. Um, oh my God, these are hard. You know, yeah, when I was, I was so young and I signed up even before I graduated from high school for the army, you know, like Shane McBride. Yeah, there's so many people do it and, and serve honorably mm-hmm. and, 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 you know, go to serve your country and all that. Well, you, you would think that other, you would think it'd be a safe place other than like war. Right. Right. Well, guess what? It's not. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm going to tell you about a missing 23 year old soldier. Okay. U.S. Army Sergeant Sarah Roque, and I hope I can get that right, R-O-Q-U-E, was a daughter, a sister, a friend, and a soldier who chose to serve our country bravely and honorably, Major General Christopher Beck said. Okay. Do you know the difference in the ranks of generals? It's be my little general. So it's brigadier general is the first rank. Be my major general's second rank. Um, lieutenant general's third. And then ge- if you just call a general, you the, you're the general, the general. Order, right? This is like for the four stars. But this, um, you know, when you're a sergeant, like I was, you're, you're, you're an officer, but you're a non commissioned officer. That's the difference between like a lieutenant and I went up to general and, um, NCO, non-commissioned officers, a sergeant, all the way to, up to command sergeant major. But anyway, she was a U.S. Army sergeant who was reported missing after she didn't show up for duty on Monday, October 21st in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Now, we used to call it Fort Lost in the Woods. A lot of my buddies went there for basic. I went to Fort McClellan, Alabama, which is now shut down. The, the, um, they say it's cold as fuck in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri during the wintertime, but she, um, she didn't show up for duty on the 21st and she was found dead. Official said on Tuesday, October 22nd, she was found dead the next mm. day. So a person of interest is in custody in connection with her death. And that's according to the Army Criminal Investigation Division. And those dudes are pretty legit, okay? Mm-hmm. Or those guys and girls. So Sergeant Sarah Rope was found dead in a dumpster on Monday evening. Uh, the U.S. Army Fort Leonard Wood official said in a press release, the Army Criminal, as I told you, the Army Criminal Investigation Division confirmed um, it, this and, and this, there are limited public details because it's still an, an active investigation. And I get that. You don't want to give away, tip your hand. You know, you want to use it later on in court, mm-hmm. uh, but you got to make the announcement. So for Leonard Wood officials later announced on Thursday, October 24, that the person of interest had been taken into custody in relation to the 23 year old sergeant's death. Now, the Department of Army Criminal Investigation, Division Specialists, the FBI, and other law enforcement agencies that uh, are now investigating Rogue's death as a homicide. And it's according to Major General Christopher Beck, uh, and he's the Command General of Fort Leonard Wood. As a commander and a leader, this is a tragedy, Beck said. This is something that we never want to happen. We never want for the family have to endure or for this unit to have to endure. Now, the Maneuver Support Center of Excellence and Fort Leonard Wood team is deeply saddened by this devastating loss. And we send our deepest condolences to the family Friends and fellow soldiers, as Sergeant Rowe, General Beck said this in a statement. Sergeant Rowe was a daughter, a sister, a friend, and a soldier who chose to serve our country bravely and honorably. Her passing has caused a tremendous void throughout our team. And while there are no words to erase the pain, 
we can continue to provide care, resources, and support to those who are affected during this difficult time. Now, Roe was from uh, Legionnaire, Indiana, and later moved to Fort Leonard Wood, where she completed basic combat training. That's that everybody has to go through that, y'all. Everybody you see in uniform has been through basic combat training. Now, the Central Missouri Military Training Installation trains more than 80,000 people every year. That's why I tell you I, I knew so many people would have went to I guess so. Fort Lawson in the woods. But Rogue was a Ridge crew member and a mine dog handler with the K-9 Detachment in the 5th Engineering Battalion. And since enlisting in 2020... She received several awards, including the Army Commendation Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Good Conduct Medal, and the Army Service Ribbon. That is horrible. And she's been murdered. That is horrible. Crazy. Just baby. I mean, you think a sergeant at 23. I mean, sergeant at, right before I turned 19, one of the youngest ever because yeah. of the position that I had. But no, I'm thankful this female. So when you're a sergeant, you're responsible for a lot of people underneath yeah. you. And yeah. You have bonds with these people. And so I equate it back to a cop getting killed mm-hmm. and everybody that, that these people always, you know, I say the cops, when your cop buddy gets killed, you know, they, you put your hands in each other's lives every night. Well, they did this too. Yeah. And obviously she's been deployed before and then, and her team's been deployed and, and, you know, you train these people, you sleep with them, you eat with them, you shit with them, you, fight with him, whatever, and now she's gone. Another senseless act of murder. And she obviously was good at what she did, and she wasn't there just to be there. Yeah, you know, yeah. she was doing great I mean, things. That's, and that's, I think the military, you know, I really think that everybody should have to serve two years in the military. What country is it that you always... Switzerland. And, and, if I'm, and y'all can correct me wrong, but mom was positive because I was there. They do it. Well, they, a lot of countries do it. But I remember that um, they do... They have to serve um, the first two years and then like the National Guard, they do uh, one week in a month or two weeks a year, whatever, but they bring their rifles home. So, I mean, Switzerland geographically is a much smaller country, but they ever get invaded. Every person in the country is a soldier. Right. Right. Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So I don't know, y'all, the... I don't know. It's sad, but you know, the shout out to all soldiers and service people. And of course, our law enforcement and first responders and firefighters and everybody who, who gives and, and puts themselves in this situ- situations to die for us every day right? for every day. And, and, uh, and all give some, but some give all, and but you don't want to give it all like this, right? So prayers for her and, and all these people at Fort Leonard Wood. And y'all, this is another reason why you got to vote. That's exactly right? what I was going to say. And I guarantee you this, when I was in the Army, that was the first time I ever voted because they gave you your ballots. And you, right. they mailed them into your state. And mm-hmm. like, I like, you vote, period. Yeah. And, uh, one way or another. And But you... You know, pretty motivated to vote once if you're there defending the country. Yeah. Exactly. However it falls out, doesn't matter. Don't yeah. care whether the, 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 whether you like it or you don't like it. Just vote. Yeah. 50% of us aren't going to ha- be happy no matter what, but let's just make the best. You know what I mean? Like it's usually half and half. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, well, hopefully, it, you know, hopefully whoever wins, hopefully it, it'll make it for, you know, a better America and, and, some shit will get handled. Right. And, and uh, um, but it's never going to happen even if you don't go vote. No. So we're using this platform. It's not political, Mm-mm. but we will urge you to go vote. And like, look, I used to love it when I was with state police and shit. They gave you that, that Tuesday off. Yeah. Get the whole fucking day off to yeah. go vote. I'd absentee vote and be on the river drinking a beer or be <laughs> beer on this phone, right? That, uh, use it or lose it. And, we love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. This is kind of a little bit shorter episode right. because of the Apple issues. And we're going to get them fixed by hook or crook. And God knows we're trying. Uh, but in the meantime, you're not getting episodes and you're jonesing for it. 
no, it's not just subscribers. Now, subscribers don't have a problem because no. they get it directly. Right. And, and uh, uh, they get it directly from us. But the other ones have to go out what we call our feed and it gets distributed to Apple and Spotify and our heart. And then they have to independently push it out. And Apple's just not getting it done. They're not getting, getting the push outs to y'all. And I apologize. Not our fault. We're fighting like hell to get it, to get it right. And, um, Cindy's fighting harder than all of us and my head's hurting from it, but <laughs> we look only because we love y'all and listen, just for Haley part two comes out on Friday at midnight, whether the Apple is fixed by then or not, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be on there. Mm-hmm. Go look it up y'all. And it's just unreal. But the, 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 the response for the first episode was amazing wait till they hear the second one and after they they think that's amazing wait till they hear the third one oh my and gosh. because each i'm doing the story in progression because we have all these audio and videotapes they're doing the story in progression of the actually from the, the from the time the 911 calls it got went in and we're just going to do it all the way to the end and we'll do a call to action yeah and to um miss barbara and Stella and Tyler, y'all hold it, hang in there. Um, it's going to be a fight, but we're going to, you got all the lifers in the world back in you. That's right. Right. That's right. So with that, we're going to conclude this election day, Tuesday episode of Fruit Crime Time for <laughs> Tuesday. And I'm Woody Overton. I'm Cindy Overton. And we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Hey, it's Ryan Seacrest. Life comes at you fast, which is why it's important to find some time to relax. A little you time. Enter Chumba Casino. With no download required, you can jump on any time, anywhere for the chance to redeem some serious prizes. So treat yourself with Chumba Casino and play over 100 online casino-style games, all for free. Go to ChumbaCasino.com to collect your free welcome bonus. Sponsored by Chumba Casino. No purchase necessary. VGW Group. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply.